Welcome to all myself Dr. Subhi Sani. Today I am going to talk about your another query. Yes, and that is how to prepare for DADH exam. What are its important questions along with the few important questions regarding DADH. So, first of all begin with the DA. I find DA is quite easy and a short subject as compared to DH because DH has certain chapters which are quite lengthy but they are also easy. Begin with the DA part. First chapter important question is what are the lines angle and what are the point angles along with their diagram given in the book. Next important question is the chronology table that is of 10 marks. That question is very very important so you need to learn it very well so as you can write it in your exam. Along with that when we come to another chapter the another important question is and definitely a long question may come on what is the difference between primary teeth and a permanent teeth like its pulp, its root, in enamel, in dentine, all the aspect morphologically, its dimension, every aspect you have to write in 10 marks with a table. Make sure whenever you write a differentiation between something and something in DADH, make sure you can make a table in your answer sheet. Next important question is, the geometric forms of different types of tooth. This question is very very important. Definitely a long question. Along with that certain short notes are there. For example, curve of monsoon, curve of spi or different types of curves that we use to read in DA. Along with that short note on spillway, embrasures. Interproximal area, contact point or interproximal spaces. So these are certain short notes that will come and as a question in your exam. With that when we come on the tooth there are certain tooths which are very important to describe each and every aspect of a tooth. For example central incisor, maxillary central incisor is very important. It may come as a long question that you have to Write it in detail along with the diagrams of each and every aspect of the tooth. Whether it's maxillary central incisor or mandibular second premolar or maxillary lateral incisor or canine or even the first molar, maxillary molar uh, or the mandibular molar. The most important teeth if you want to know so that will be maxillary central incisor or maxillary canine, premolar mostly a mandibular one and maxillary molar, first maxillary molar along with mandibular molar. So these are tooth which are very important for your theory exam for DADH. So that's all about the DA part important question according to come on to the DH part. DH part, I think DH is also an interesting one according to me. In DH part, begin with enamel chapter. Eight changes of enamel is very very important. Composition of enamel is very very important. Hypocalcified structure of enamel is very very important. Along with that, there are certain short note may come on different topics. For example, HERS or a development of a face or a lobe, life cycle of amyloblastis, amylogenesis ki sari stages. So that question is very very important. A long question may come so you need to write it very well. Along with that when we come to the dentine chapter the composition again is a very important part that what is the composition of dentine, what are the theories of dentine, then inter short note may come on interglobular dentine, short note may come on sclerotic dentine, short note may come on reparative dentine. So all these topics are very important along with eight changes of dentine. Then we come on to the chapter pulp. This chapter is quite easy. Functions of the pulp may come, zones of the pulp may come as a question. 
or even the composition of the pulp may come as a question in your theory exam. Along with that, when we come on to the chapter cementum, one short question may come on what is cementoid along with the difference between cellular cementum and acellular cementum may definitely come in your exam and there is one more thing, a short note may come on hypercementosis. This question or this topic you found in the clinical consideration of cementum, so learn it properly. Along with that, when we come across other chapter, the other important questions are fibers of PDL, composition of PDL, uh, classification or the structure of alveolar bone, what are the functions of alveolar bone, along with the differentiation between or differentiate between keratinized epithelium and non-keratinized epithelium. This question is very very important, even a long question may come on this. So, you need to learn it thoroughly. Along with that, there are certain theory like theories of calcification is very very important. Like matrix, vesicle theory, bundle theory and so on. So, this question may come as a 5 mark short note. So, along with that, a short note may come on maxillary sinus or even a long note may come as what is maxillary sinus, what are its boundary, what are its relation, what is its nerve supply, blood supply. So, maxillary sinus is very very important chapter. So, you need to learn it very well. That's all about the important questions of DH. If you want a PDF of important question regarding previous year question paper regarding DADH, you can contact me by any of the mode and learning the DADH, I must say give more time to DH because the lengthy chapters are there in DH as compared to D. So that's all about this video. If you still have any query, you can drop me a mail which is shown on your screen. You can follow me on Instagram with my name, Dr. Surbhi Sahani. If you like this video, press the like button, do comment, subscribe to my channel, share my video. And if you are new on my channel, do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.